This play, I think, is a very important play that David has written about men and women and power struggle and um, sexuality and identity and role playing. Venus and Fur is a backstage play about a, an aspiring theater director slash playwright who has adapted a famous erotic novel called Venus and Fur. It's the end of the day when the play begins. He is uh, completely fed up with looking for an actress to play this, the, the, the central part of the play and in walks the most unlikely actress in the world to play the part. And she's young, vulgar, totally wrong, classless, and turns out to be brilliant. She takes him into his own play and begins to teach him about his own play, um, teach him about what he's written and the power of his own words, um, ultimately to the point that he realizes that he is not disconnected from his own creation, that this play that he's written, which is about power and about sexual politics, I suppose, is not totally divorced from himself. It's so beautifully layered. Um, and there's so many different twists and turns in the play that you really, everything kind of catches you off guard. I get caught off guard every night by the different twists and turns in the play. And that makes for incredibly exciting theater. When I was casting Venus in Fur, what happened was we were seeing people and then Nina Ariana walked into the room and solved the problem. I knew it was a complex part to cast. I knew that there would be actors who were afraid to deal with this material. And she came in and she was both as neurotic, crazy, <laughs> willful as this character is, and then turned into, you know, shabby and classical actress when she fell into the play within the play. She ended her audition and we, as usual, said, oh, thank you very much, that was very nice. And she grabbed her bag and walked out. And as the door closed, bedlam happened. I really wanted to get on the phone before she went out and got another job. I said, can we end these auditions now? and call her agent before someone offers her a job. That's how I felt when I met her. I mean, I don't mean to compare her to any, anyone else, but you know, my generation was Street. And so I imagined sitting there that first time that Street walked into the door and going, what the hell just happened? I really have never worked with a more intuitive, compassionate director. He knows exactly how to guide you. He knows the story inside out. And just the way he works with you, it makes you feel respected as the character um, and as the actor in the room. He's um, just wonderful. The first time I saw Hugh Dancy on stage was in uh, Journey's End, and I thought, this is a thrilling actor. And watching him, whatever he's done in film, watching him in on, the, on, on the Big C just last week, you just go, my God, this guy's remarkable. Not only that, he was, um, he was willing to audition, which sometimes people in, of his stature aren't willing to audition. And he not only was willing to audition, he auditioned with Nina. And the, I, we put the two of them in the room and the chemical reaction between the two of them was just riveting. And you could see that she was completely focused on him, that she was getting that there was a new dance that was going to be possible. And there's a lot of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a, so it, yeah, it's a very, it's a quite an extreme journey in the course of 90 minutes, um, and you know, and these two characters are twisting and turning all the way through and fighting each other. And one minute I'm, uh, you know, dominating as the director, and I'm forcing her to, you know, to do what I want. And the next minute she's turned the tables on me, and uh, you know, and uh, and that's the. If the play works, that will move just fast enough that the audience will be blinking and, and just wondering what, what the hell's happening and, and, and trying to keep up all the time. And that's how I felt when I first read it. And kind of that's how I still feel <laughs> in, the, uh, in, the, um, you know, in the rehearsals, because the play is like, it's like Quicksilver. It just changes all the time. There are so many reasons that we're doing it. Nina Arianda is a great actress. Hugh Dancy is a great actor. Walter Bobby is a great director. David Ives is a great playwright. So. That's the recipe for us at Manhattan Theatre Club, to produce work that is um, challenging, exciting, and just a little bit more adventuresome than you might ordinarily find in a Broadway situation. Mm -hmm.